Hi guys, welcome back again. Remember, it's Max giving you all these updates. Max Creation TV. By the way, it's your first time come across the channel. Don't forget to hesitate. Don't forget to give a subscribe. Remember, we are looking at the road to 10,000 subscribers, and definitely this is going to just be what you call your effort, or it's going to be your support. Don't forget to share and don't forget to let to recommend to other people. Yes, when you look at most of these Gulf countries, the Gulf countries you look at are so funny and they have their own structures. And some of the structures that you definitely would have to look at is what we call the labor laws. And when we get to the labor laws, definitely it will come back to us, the employees that are coming into this country. We definitely, in this kind of situation or in this scenario, we are going to look at what we call the rules and regulations or what we call the Qatar rules and regulations. Yes, when we look at the Qatar rules and regulations, yes, what will your mind bring you back very fast? The mind has to rush you back and it's going to rush you to what you call the, what you call the labor laws. Because what governs the rule and the rules and the regulations here, it's what you call the labor laws. And you must be very aware of some of the very important things or some of the small important articles that will protect you in the labor law as the employee and those that will protect you as what you call the employer and what kind of overrides does your employer have and what kind does you as employee have. Yes, when you look at the Qatar rules and regulations, definitely we shall look at what you call the labor laws. And when you look at the labor laws, the very important first aspect that definitely we have to look at, as you, the person who is coming to Qatar for the first time, we are looking at what you call the employment contract. When you come into the country, in this country, only come into this country, for you, you will come in for the most important motive will be for work and when you talk about work or when we're talking about work in that kind of scenario we are looking at what you call the employment contract remember the employment contract is going to be a mutual agreement between the employee and the employer it is going to outline and outline and this most of the very important rules and regulations that you are supposed to follow this can be either what you call an internal or it can be an external, but normally, normally, normally it's an internal but in the country, in the company, but which reflects what gravely uh, entirely describes what you call the labor laws that you're supposed to follow in this Gulf country. And what's something that definitely you need to understand or you need to remember? When we come to these countries, it's not a right, it's an opportunity. And I keep on telling you, for you to, to make sure you live within what or an opportunity is to follow the law. Don't go against the law. Don't go against what the law says. Follow the law for you to enjoy your opportunity. But most of, most of us, we've thought that it becomes to an case that is, it's, it's our right and we've ended up falling in trouble in that case, which may not be right or which may not good be good in that kind of format and definitely it gives it in any or the other. So most of the times I keep on telling people that you definitely need to understand that these are some of the things that definitely we need to understand the rules and regulations. But when you look at what we call the contract, most of us we come here because of work and what is the contract, what is specified or what is really describing that contract, we look at the payment, we look at the duration of the contract, we look at the nature of the work, the address, your sponsor, the length of the contract, the place of the work, the hours work, the annual leave, that will be combined or that will be consistent in what you call the Qatar rules, the regulation, which must be listed or which will be listed in what you call the employment contract. And when you sign that employment contract, then that means you've agreed to the terms, the rules, and the Qatar regulations in that context. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much. By the way, it's always makes giving you all these updates. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.